It's the most wonderful time of the year. Happy June, everyone. It's time for every gamer's favorite time of the year, E3. We're less than two weeks away from this year's event and hype is reaching a fever pitch. As always, there is a surplus of rumors flying around regarding Nintendo's presentation, so why not talk about it? With that out of the way, I'm your host, 24Kevin, here for 24Kevin Tendo, and here's 10 rumors for Nintendo's E3 presentation. Full disclosure alert, these are actually not my leaks, nor do I have any insider information. This is just a combination of rumors and reports that I've read over the last couple months, so take all of it with a grain of salt. Now with that out of the way... Ready? Go! Number 10. Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle Let's get the most obvious rumor out of the way. This rumor started around the time the original Nintendo Switch Direct a few months ago, stating that Mario and Rabbids would be having a crossover game akin to Final Fantasy Tactics and fans were skeptic to say the least. Lo and behold, multiple pictures were released showing Mario characters and their rabid counterparts. At first glance, this game seems kinda corny and weird, but I'm super excited to see Nintendo finally show off the game and give us more details about this mysterious title. Number 9. Pikmin 4 Well, this is one rumor that has been sitting around since the Wii U era. Back in 2015, Shigeru Miyamoto confirmed to Eurogamer that Pikmin 4 was very close to completion and that the team had even already started developing Pikmin 5. Many fans had been holding on to hope that Pikmin 4 would be released in the near future. Two years later and we haven't heard anything, except for Hey Pikmin. But we did have it confirmed that Hey Pikmin is not Pikmin 4, so stop freaking out, folks. One would have to imagine that Nintendo's original intention was to release Pikmin on the Wii U, but once the Switch was officially announced, probably internally, it changed direction and has been gearing up for a port over to the Switch. Nintendo can only hold back the sequel so long, so E3 would be the perfect time to announce it. Number 8. Pokin Tournament Well, there's always going to be rumors surrounding Pokemon games at E3, and it's one of Nintendo's hottest properties, so why not announce it here? Now, history does suggest that Nintendo doesn't like announcing Pokemon games at E3, though, but even if they do announce a game ahead of time, you better believe Nintendo's gonna have some information about this game there. Now, one of the biggest rumors going around is that Nintendo will be re-releasing Pokemon Tournament on the Nintendo Switch with updated fighters from the arcade version. It would be nice if they announced a few new fighters or game modes that would release alongside the Switch version, just to give players who have already played the game some extra incentive to rebuy it again for the new console. Number 4. Pokemon Stars well, of course there's more than one Pokemon game being talked about. This one has been talked about basically since the original Sun and Moon was released, with Nintendo hinting to look to the stars on a recent post and Ishihara announcing that Pokemon games were still coming to the Nintendo Switch. Now it seems like the perfect time to release and announce this game. With Monster Hunter Double Cross allowing cross-platform play, I could see Pokemon going the same route, releasing on the 3DS as well. But with Nintendo trying to keep the 3DS alive and trying to push sales of the new 2DS XL, it only makes sense to keep pocket monsters on portable devices. Number 6. Mario Maker Ever since the Switch was launched, there have been rumors suggesting that Nintendo was going to port some of the Wii U's best games to the Switch. In all fairness, why wouldn't they? The Wii U didn't exactly have the largest install base, so porting these games to the console where more people will buy it seems like a no-brainer. Seeing as this could very well be another deluxe version, there are some additional features that Nintendo could include, like slopes, or slopes. Basically, all I want is slopes. I'm sure they're going to include things like extra mystery mushrooms, a combination of features from the 3DS and the Wii U version, and slopes. Did I mention slopes? Seriously, we need some of that Y equals MX plus B goodness. Math jokes. They're quite calculated. Number 5. Mobile Games Nintendo's entry into the mobile market has been hit or miss amongst critics, but there's no denying the increase in revenue and brand recognition Nintendo has received from the mobile market. Now, Nintendo has already announced that there is an Animal Crossing mobile game on the way, and those who have seen it already have admitted that it's a fuller game than any of them could have expected, and that has me wicked excited to play it. The other big rumor is that Nintendo is developing a Zelda mobile game as well. Now, while I could see Nintendo revealing some details about the Legend of Zelda game, I fully expect Nintendo to announce a release date for the Animal Crossing mobile game, and I could see it coming out later this year as well. At the very least, I expect a little bit of an update on Pokemon Go, Fire Emblem Heroes, or Super Mario Run. Hopefully these will be including some new game modes, or at least trading in Pokemon Go. I mean, come on! I just want to complete the Gen 1 decks already, Niantic! Number 4. The Virtual Console Well, this one's pretty self-explanatory, and probably the thing most Switch owners want an answer for. 
Since the Switch's launch, Nintendo has been relatively silent regarding the Virtual Console, but one rumor has been heard more than any other at this point, that Nintendo will finally allow GameCube games to be released on the Switch Virtual Console. Cue Angel music? Add in the rabid fanbase that is literally chomping at the bits to play some of Nintendo's classic games on the go, and you have yourself one of the issues that Nintendo MUST, I repeat, MUST address during E3. If not, then I am going to be highly disappointed in you. You're gonna take a slap on the wrist and be shamed with the shame bell. Number three, Super Smash Bros. Deluxe. This one goes way back to when the Switch was announced with people claiming that Smash Bros. would be released as a launch title. Nope. In all fairness, I don't recall Smash Bros. ever being announced outside an E3 ever, so it would make sense for it to be announced this year as well. All rumors seem to suggest that Nintendo would bring the best of the Wii U and the 3DS editions while including all DLC content, and hopefully bring a few extra stages and characters just to keep the hype at an all-time high. And if that isn't enough proof, even Reggie might have leaked a little info. In an interview in January, Reggie Filzame implied that Smash Bros. could be coming to the Nintendo Switch when discussing online play. Granted, it could have just been a slip of the tongue, but I'm gonna believe that it wasn't. Because I'm an optimist. Number 2. The SNES Classic Way back in days of old is when this rumor actually started. It was around the time the NES Classic was discontinued. Eurogamer reported that Nintendo was ceasing production so they could focus on the SNES Mini, and most recently, Xbox sent out a survey asking users which E3 announcement users were most looking forward to, and it had the SNES Classic on the list. Since I've already spent three videos talking about the system, I'll just leave a nice little link here with all the games I think should be on the console. With the success of the NES Classic, Nintendo would be fools not to continue monetizing this cash cow of a classic series. And the number one rumor for Nintendo at E3 is... Call of Duty World War II. Now I know there isn't a lot of information to support this one, but the evidence we have is pretty damning. About a month ago, the Activision website made it possible for players to link their Nintendo account to the Call of Duty website. A feature that has not been available since Call of Duty Black Ops 3 was released on the Wii U. Now, after this came out, a few leakers around the net revealed that Call of Duty would be announced for the Switch around E3. So take this rumor, like all other rumors on this list, with a grain of salt. And a pound of hope. Seriously though, if Nintendo could support Call of Duty on the Switch and it does sell well, it only opens the floodgates for more developers to flock to the Switch. And that's our list. What did you guys think? Are there any other rumors we forgot? Of course we did! You really think I'd end this list on a non-Nintendo franchise? Come on! It's E3! You guys are getting a bonus fact for the week! The number one rumor about Nintendo at the E3 presentation is... Metroid! Fanboys rejoice! Super Metal Dave 64 has stated that not only one Metroid game was in development, but two were surely on the way. Super Metal Dave stated that Retro Studios had indeed been working on a new 3D Metroid game. He also said that Climax Studios was also working on another Metroid game, which also lines up with Emily Rogers' claim that the studio was working on a project for over three years. Dave went on to speculate that while both could be revealed at E3 this year, the Climax Studio game would be the more likely candidate to make an appearance. And honestly, I'm super excited to play the next Metroid game in the Prime series. And that's our list! Did we miss any rumors? Of course we did! There no, I'm totally kidding, there's not another bonus fact. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of the Nintendo E3 rumors. Which ones do you think are coming true? Do you have any other predictions? Let me know! For everyone here at 24 Kevin Tendo, I'm your host 24 Kevin. I gotta go though. I gotta go keep driving this hype train. E3's coming up soon. Choo choo! See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye!